Hello, everybody, and welcome to Kohler High School. We're tonight on Sheboygan Christian and Big East Conference uh, basketball. It's our opening night for WSCS, and we're happy to have uh, an early game in Kohler against Christian. Mike Martin is uh, currently in Arizona enjoying the warm weather, so I called an old Kohler alumni, Kohler coach, Jeff Wolf, to join us. Jeff, tell us a little bit about your time here at Kohler and what you're doing now. Well, right now, uh, my here time at Kohler, I actually played here and uh, went to the state finals and had a real nice run there in high school. But then I went on to play at uh, the University of North Carolina for Coach Smith and was drafted by the Bucks, but hurt my knee and went overseas and played for a few years around the, around the world, which was a great ex experience. Came back, uh, trying to decide what to do. We came back here to Kohler with my young family. I uh, had the opportunity to coach here for 15 years. Uh, won the state championship in 1999, but I had a lot of great players, a lot of great experiences, and it was a lot of fun. We really had a good time. Missed it a lot. Yes, and currently you have two of your youngest daughters are playing for uh, UW Green Bay with the Phoenix. Right, Mac and Maddie are redshirt juniors uh, for the, the Phoenix uh, basketball team up there. Uh, played at high school in Cheboygan North. Uh, and had a nice run there with Eric Spielman and CJ Usadel and that group. Uh, now uh, up at Green Bay, and a great program, great coaches, great fans. Uh, couldn't be happier. Yeah, and uh, tomorrow night, if you're not doing anything, they'll be playing uh, the Badgers tomorrow up at Green Bay. So that's why I was lucky to get Jeff tonight. Let's talk a little bit about high school basketball. They're early in the season, just four games in. Let's talk about Christian first, you know, being from Sheboygan. Uh, coach Slipsy, the uh, oldest coach in the whole conference, he's got a really young squad so far this year, and they're really struggling to put the ball in the basket. Brett and I go way back. Uh, <laughs> we coach against each other, and uh, he was actually an assistant coach on my all-star team that I had after um, Christian senior year in high school. So my son Christian uh, played here also. Brett does a really nice job. Uh, really cares about his, his uh, players and, and does a good job struggling with numbers. You know, they only have 88 kids in, in the high school now. Uh, so right now, when he talks about young, he's talking about freshmen and sophomores trying to play at the varsity level. Big disadvantage unless you're a superstar like say Sam Decker or, uh, or Joe Wolf or somebody like that. So what, what he does is you know he, he'll just keep the same tenets of, of playing hard, playing together, and playing through it. And that's all you can do to gain experience. And sometimes you have to take your lumps to do it. Yeah, and you know they've been very successful at Christian uh, a few years back, and in the last couple of years it's been a little rougher for them. And you know you got to give them credit to you know to build a smaller, younger group to have the patience to do that. And, and I know Brett's, like you said, a really good guy. He's, he's got to have that patience to stick with those kids. He's got a great attitude about it. He knows what's important. And uh, as a coach, I think what's most important is building relationships with the kids, teaching them things that, you know, they can carry over into their lives from the game of basketball. Brett does a great job of that. He's had one of his former players now my doctor. So <laughs> they, do, they do a nice job over at Christian. Yes. Let's talk about the Blue Bombers last year. They, I believe they went 20 and four. They lost two games to uh, Howard's Grove. They got all the way to the sectionals where they lost there. So they had a great, great season there last year. And they lost some kids, but a lot of those kids that played last year on the team this year, but they too are kind of young. Well, it's funny because both coaches descri described their teams to us this week as being young. Well, there's a difference between being a freshman and being a junior that hasn't got a lot of play time in varsity. Kohler's got a really nice class here that my son and I had the opportunity to coach in middle school. They've stuck together. This junior class is now the starting lineup for this group, gaining valuable experience, hoping to build on the success they had last year. Well, they also got a couple kids on their teams whose fathers were really good players. You know, Kyle Gebler's son is playing on a team, and of course, Coach Raider's son is playing on a team. So you got kids on the team from very successful dads that had good you know basketball skills and now they're leading it to their sons onto the basketball team right here at Kohler. Right. You know it and I coach my sons here too. And it, it's the opportunity to, to control their destinies I guess. Yeah. Uh, but again it's it, sometimes it's a it's a father-son thing but when you're on the court 
It's, it's a player-coach relationship. So, you know, that can be difficult at times, but that's part of life. They both do a good job. Both guys are great about coaching their kids. If they get on each other's nerves, I think they just switch off and we'll let one talk to the other. And, and it's worked out fine for them. One thing Kohler has a big advantage too, they might be young, but they're really tall and something that, you know, you like is big, nice, tall post players and they, they got a couple of kids, you know, 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", they got four and five of those kids at a small school, which should bold well, even though they're playing in a bigger league and a division, more division four school, but should bold well, not just for this year, but for next year as well. The numbers here are really good, and uh, comparatively speaking, they've become a bigger school uh, enrollment-wise, and that certainly has helped them. Yeah, I think that definitely is. I'll tell you what, when we come back, we'll have the starting lines for tonight's game, so we'll be right back. Safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov.
You there, Jeff? Yep. All right, Jeff, here we go. I like the introduction, Jeff. I like the band. <laughs> I like the uh, lights. Something about high school basketball. I always got the, uh, you know, when I had my year in varsity basketball, I always enjoyed that, you know, kind of the band playing and kind of got the uh, motions going. It's nice what uh, Coach Raider does here. Yeah, it's a, it sure is a different uh, showtime atmosphere here, <laughs> here in, uh, in Kohler. Well, Kohler won the tip and turned the ball over early on here. See how the young Christian Eagles handle the tough environment here. And right off the bat, we get a miss. That is Modal, Michael Modal. I know he played on the football team as well. That's Tyler Raider up and good. Raider gets the first points tonight, Jeff. He might be the, you know, one of the bigger players on the, on the floor, but he does a lot of good things. He can move for a 6'5", young player. Actually leads the team in assists at, at about 4.5 4 as, assists a game. So he can do a lot of things out of that high post area. There's an outside shot. Almost a three, but it's missed. And that's brought down there by Fink. Looks like a three. It is a three. And it's Gebler, leading scorer for Kohler with a three and a quick 5-0 lead. He's got quick hands defensively. Gets a steal right here, puts it back in. Kohler's putting full court pressure on him, knowing that uh, Christian's a little short-handed. Young has a problem with turnovers, so they're gonna try to put Take a lot it. of pressure on. See if we can get those turnovers. There's a straight line drive, got yep. it to the rim, couldn't finish. 
And another rebound, this time by Connor Cassidy. Cassidy, a junior for Kohler. Kohler's right away up the floor. Spreading out. That's Cassidy. Another three-pointer by Kevler missed. Rebound by Raider. Cassidy with the miss. Also with the rebound, but uh, he was trapped. You can just see, you know, you can, I know you mentioned that Christian is very young. You can just tell the, just by the body shapes, the colder kids are a little bigger and stronger just because they're a little older. And, and it, yeah, it comes from maturity. I mean, you can do all the weightlifting and, and conditioning that you want, but your body's going to mature it, as, as it naturally does. And some guys mature earlier than others, but certainly freshmen and sophomores, bodies are not going to be the same as the juniors and seniors. And still early in the season, just the fifth game of the year. Both teams played last night. It's kind of weird to have back-to-back -back games that's almost not even heard of except for in tournaments and things. I think with the bigger conference now, the, yeah. you, you know, they only play each other once and the, they have the bigger conference, so, and then they have the tournament at the end. There's a Eli. drive. Nugent. That's his game. He's really, he can get down on the baseline and, and he does a lot of good things out there. He's not the tallest kid out there, but he does a lot of the glue things that, you know, really make the team successful. Well, we've played two minutes so far and uh, Christian is yet to score. It's nine to nothing in favor of Kohler. Talking to Coach Flipsy this week, you know, they've really struggled in the first, first half and, you know, that's an attribute of being a young team. And uh, once they get into a groove, they, they seem to compete better in the second half. But, uh, you know, the, when you come out and play, you know, at this high level of high school, you've got to be ready to play. They're not going to ask you what grade you're in. You just have to go out and play and compete. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be much better. And there's a turnover by Kohler as the year progresses as well. I mean, they played some pretty good teams already. They played Oostburg in the Springs, Manitowoc Lutheran last night. I mean, they, they played some tough teams. That's a tough schedule to start off with, you know, for a young team, but uh, you have no control over that. I mean, as a coach, you go in and say, this is our schedule. We're going to do the best to get you ready to play, and we're going to go out and compete. Yeah. There was Joe Lemonese. He's uh, number 23 for Christian. He is a senior. You can tell he's put together a little bit as he comes across your and he's, one, he's, their, right there. he's, you know, the second leading scorer on the team and one of the leading rebounders. He's got decent size. Nice rebound there. Yeah, I have him uh, at seven rebounds a game as he took that one off the boards. It's another chance for a three. And that's, and again, another miss. One thing I, I noticed is Christian's shooting percentage, Jeff, is just not... Uh, that good is so far as you can tell obviously with a nine nothing lead the shots are there they're open they just can't seem to put it in the hole right now they seem again it's it's they seem like they're rushing just a little bit and that you know that Kohler's helping put that pressure on by putting full court pressure on them and, and speeding them up and they're coming down and, and shooting a little bit qu quicker than maybe coach Flipsy wants nice block there Raider nice power move but Kohler, too, is having a tough time finding the basket of late. Still 9-0. We're at 13-14 left in the first half. Chris Wright along with Jeff Wolf. And there's another air ball. Rebound by Fink. Let's see, yep. Coach Slipsy a little frustrated over here. His kids are getting the shots. He just can't put it in. And there's a wide open three, and Gebler hits that's, another one. That's the sign of the young team. Young, Carter Gebler's the best shooter on the Kohler team, too players left him to try to stop the ball from penetration, left him wide open. Coach Flipsy trying to get their attention to get him back. Didn't do it in time. Coach Good Flipsy timeout. Went, yeah. Early timeout here. It's a 30 second timeout. 12-0 run. As I said, Jeff, it seems to me Christian seems to get guys open. They're just not uh, making any baskets at this time. Well, until you, you hit that first shot and get the lid off the basket, you know, and get some confidence. I mean, basketball is a game of confidence and rhythm. And when you're, you're struggling with, with that, uh, especially in today's game where everybody's spread out on the floor and you miss a shot, very few offensive rebounds these days uh, because of the spread offenses. Uh, so you're not getting that second chance opportunity. 
but that's the nature of the game today. Yeah. Well, Carter Gebler, the junior, has the eight of the first 12 points. He comes in at 23-3 a game. Said his dad was a really good athlete, period. He was an excellent baseball player as well as a basketball player. Athletic family. Yeah. And just another good entry pass there. Nice hands. Good strong two foot finish there. Couldn't get knocked off balance. See how you see how Kohler's speeding them up, force them into turnovers. Well, 12 19 left. It's in the first half, it's 14 to nothing in favor of Kohler. At this point in the game, you'd like to have a well seasoned veteran point guard to get you set into some type of offense, get you a set, make sure you get a good shot. That's where the youth is really hurting Christian. And good defense by Kohler. Good recovery. Matt, Matt Olsen with the block from behind. Didn't give up on the play. Lost the ball, came back, hustled back, made a good clean block. On the other end, there was a turnover. Cassidy with that nice pressure, D and in. Nice entry pass. This is Nugent. Over to Cassidy. Nice. Raider, nobody boxed out, coach. He's averaging in double figures and rebounds. You know, one of the, your, your scouts, the emphasis of point in your scout should be that you got to box him out. Nice rebound and finish. And there you go, Christian. They're on the, on the board. Got the lid off. Let's see what happens now. Let's give him a little bit of confidence moving forward. Lemonese on that basket there. Three-point attempt up and missed. Time by Fink. Holder with the offensive rebound. Raider goes to the basket. Nice rebound that. inside. Yeah, Fink again. He gets a bunch of rebounds too. Good quick hands. I'll tell you that Cassidy is all over Christian. Holder's well, got real good athletes. They're very active. Nice finish, nice pass. Couldn't get it down. Trying, trying. You can see the pace of the game. You can see everybody's really breathing hard. So the pace, I think, favors Kohler, you know, with their depth and their experience over Sheboygan Christian. End of the game is Ben Hines. How about that? You come in here at Kohler with another 6'5 kid. He's a senior, number 34. Colin Adams, number 23. He's got the ball right there. Where was, where was this height when I was coaching here? <laughs> We didn't need it. We won a state championship without it. Well, we had a pretty good post player in yeah, Zach Pethin. Yeah, he was he was a load. He could he, you ran that pick and roll with him pretty pretty darn well. And he was smart too. He knew where to go to an open space. And another right, right into the game. Guess what? It's a Mackey. It's another Mackey. <laughs> Davis Mackey. And he's shooting a three. I think that family loves that shot. There's a shot up, attempted there. Nice challenge. By Christian Mackey, nice bounce pass. Now the defense has to collapse. Not a good pass there by Maybe Nugent. trying to be a little too unselfish there by Eli. Awesome drive to the basket. He good gets take. fouled. And we're gonna have our first free throws of the night. If you're not hitting shots from the outside, try to get the ball to the basket, draw fouls, get to the free throw line, see if you can get a couple points from there. So Matt Olson did. He's got the opportunity to make two shots. Well, if you haven't heard yet, or we haven't mentioned it, uh, Shoot for a Cure, it's Coaches versus Cancer event. 
Uh, the, the school's done this a couple years now. You can notice that Kohler's wearing the pink socks. Um, Coach Flips, he's wearing his uh, Coaches for Cancer type shirt as well. Last year, he had a goofy tie. 19 to four, 940 left in the first half. Chris Wright along with Jeff Wolf. Mike Martin's in Arizona. He's actually watching some high school games down there that's on ESPN tonight, good, Jeff. Good box out there by Matt Olsom. Sorry, the, sorry that Mike's not here, but uh, thanks, Marty. Yeah, and he's, he sent me an email today. I was worried he was gonna lose his job to you permanently. Maybe in a couple years when your girls are, are gone, you have more time. <laughs> Anytime I'm available, yeah, I'd love to be here and watch high school basketball. Certainly an exciting night here, a shoot for the cure. Bowler's playing good defense, putting pressure on the ball, not letting anything inside. Nice shot. Nice shot. Is that awesome there? Four points for Matt. Now 19 to six. Christian, Christian being very active in their zone. There's a loose ball, nice hustle. A lot of turnovers for the Blue Bombers. Good job by Sam Hendricks there. Good defense again that time by Colin Adams. A little bit of a run here by Christian. He got that, ba that basket, got a little bit more confidence. Sam Hendricks, number 21 for Christian, 6'3", sophomore. He'll be inbounding the basketball. Tyler Rader back in the game. Coach Rader doing a nice job keeping his guys fresh. Wanted them to play full court, put pressure on. Keep people fresh by making substitutions and they haven't fallen off much here, so nice job by the Bombers. Nice, nice back cut. Yep. And nice finish. play. And that's what you can do against pressure. If they come out to try to overplay, you can go back door. That's Wist, what they Wissy did. gets that one. Wissy's their leading scorer. They'll, they'll yep. need him to step up tonight. He's working hard on the defensive end. You know, to Christian, go go ahead. ahead. I was going to say, go ahead. Christians, you know, only got two seniors. They're really going to need them to play a lot of minutes and step up and, and lead on both ends of the court. That's a big responsibility for a couple young guys. And, and you can see that they're working hard, but, you, you know, the minutes are going to add up, especially playing halves. There's a pick and a steal. Oh, and a miss layup there by Hendricks. Got to make those. Oh, Gebler. Oh, nice move by Carter Gebler. Goes to the offhand. That stopped a 6-0 uh, run by Christian. It's now 21 to eight. 7-12 in the first half. Gebler leads all scores with eight. Christian's trying, to get in. Christian's trying to get into, into the paint, draw defenders and then try to kick. Time turned the ball over. Coach Flipsy does not agree. Good live hands by Kohler tonight. Good defense. <laughs> Coach Flipsy and the referee having a discussion about the last call. Inside, trying to get to the paint, look to kick. Raider, a little wow. bit off balance there. Nice strong rebound there by Modal. Little rub pick there, trying to go inside. Gonna be tough to take that many dribbles against an uh, athletic team like Kohler. You're gonna get down and get help. In that situation, you're gonna have probably one, maybe two dribbles. You gotta make a move and either shoot the ball once you get it to the paint or, or kick it out. 
Joe Lamenes is going to have a hard time uh, finishing on that one. We're down to just 6.15 left in quarter number, excuse me, half. <laughs> it's been it's halves for a couple years now, Chris. Fast half. It seems it like is. it's moving very quickly. Missed by Raider, but another offensive rebound for Kohler. And that's what Leo Fink does. He does a lot of the little things that don't show up, but in that case, his offensive rebound leads to a basket. Well, number 23 makes the 23rd point. Colin Adams with two. His first two points of the night. That's the way to get it inside. A little bit of a weave out on yep. top. Kick now, yeah, weave, little Marquette action. Old Marquette, not new Marquette. You're showing your age. <laughs> back in for Kohler, I believe, is uh, Gebler's back into the game. It seems, it seems now, Chris, like everybody's kind of settling in a little bit, catching their second wind. Good take, but Good. just a miss there by Gebler. Good rebound by Trevor Wissey. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Kohler works those kids up the floor the whole time, and like you mentioned, that'll wear on them over the long haul. Good nice take drive. By Matt Alsom. It's twice he's done that. He just puts his head down and goes to the rim, and nobody's stopping him right now for Kohler, so it's he's found success there, so he probably should keep doing it until they stop it. Offensive. Point of emphasis on making say that you're stay still on your screens. Christian doing a nice job coming back after being down early. Oh, good light hands. Right, Nugent. What Trevor Wissey is trying to tell his teammate is that fundamentals of passing the basketball, try to pass away from where the de defender is, or pass it back where they can touch it. Less likely to turn the ball over. Good double, good, good double. double. Got to have a little bit better communication from your, uh, the guy who's doing the double. And there's no communication, even the bench too, can you say, hey, somebody's coming there. They have their head up. Good finish. Nice. That's the way to break, break pressure once. You can break, break it down, get inside, get an easy layup. It's 25 to 12, four minutes left in the first half. And what has been a really quick first half. Again, another turnover by the Blue Bombers. There's been a lot of those, Coach. It's not very crisp. No, everybody's trying hard, but sometimes, you know, Sometimes you overtry and things just become more difficult because of that instead of relaxing and just playing the game of basketball that you know you're capable of playing. Give cr credit to Christian, though. They're playing much better defense. Oh. Good block there by Eli. And that'll be the first foul on Christian. It comes on Trevor Wissy. 344 left in the half in the first foul. <laughs> That's, why it's That's why it's going so quickly. Coach. Coach, you should know better than to say something like that. <laughs> Marty always gives me the, uh, oh, now watch the next four minutes. will take a while. Well, I may be superstitious about some things, but that <laughs> one, that's not one of them. <laughs> hard fought game, but cleanly played. Both teams playing hard, trying to get things done on both ends of the court right yeah, now. Not a lot of yeah, movement. I'm trying to hide, pick. This is a high pick on top. Hit the man standing open in the corner. He took it to the basket and got fouled. Just like that, Christian picks up its second team foul. That's on Matt Olson, his first. This is Fink. X cut through the middle of the lane. Raider. They're running a little weave action too. Kohler with just three seniors as well. A lot of ball handlers on the floor for Kohler. 
Good hustle by that Fink. You mentioned him yep. a couple times. Offensive rebounder. He's got very good. There's another offensive rebound. And another country I heard from. This is Lucas Crawl. His brother played a year ago on the varsity. He comes off the bench at 6'6", sophomore. Christian getting set. Filling spots. I think it's against modal. this kind of pr pressured defense, you don't want the ball to stick too long in one player. You got to keep the ball moving, get the defense to overcommit, get the ball into the paint where you want to want to drive, stay under control, and you either get a shot, pass out to a teammate that might be open. There's an open look. And again, Wissy can't hit it. I mentioned it all year that Christian struggled from the floor. Raider with a nice open shot. He misses another reload. Gebler takes it back to Raider. And nice, nice. move. Nice finish. We've seen Carter Gebler and Tyler Raider both using their left hands and finishes inside. Nice athletic plays and finishes. I have Tyler Raider for eight points. Comes in tonight averaging 11-7. Good very, take. Very good take. And Michael Modell, a freshman, should be at the line, shooting two. In that case, he was able to get his body past the defender in order to try to catch up and prevent the, the shot from going in. The defender has to follow you and come back over the top of you. So for a freshman, it's a nice, nice opportunity to get by that. It's averaging just 45% from the free throw line, no coach. Got to get up there and follow through and finish a shot. Right yeah. now, he left it a little bit short. Looked like a short arm. That looked good. That was better. But he dropped his hand at the end. Trying to finish up high release point and finish with your follow through up high. Nice pass. Crawl on the miss. Moto with another rebound. They've got numbers if they can get it. Nice pass, but quick hands there by, guess who, Leo Fink. Christian had the opportunity there. They finally got numbers, but it took a good de defensive play. And then well, I think it was Raider, not Fink, or was it? And I think it was. Uh, Hard to see through this referee. I think it was Fink. It was Fink. Does little things, coach, you're right. Crawl decides to pass Good it out. Good ball movement there. You can see how a defense has a hard time trying to catch up and finish when you move the ball that quickly, side to side. Tell you, Carter Gebler much more this season as a junior aggressive on the offensive end than he was a year ago. Not ben, that he was bad last year. Well, but Ben Mackey's not here. You know, yeah, that's ben was, true. <laughs> ben, when you play with the great players, you don't always have that opportunity that's to shine. That's true. That's true. There's nice a finish three. there by Trevor. We'll see. But Schlips, he's looking for a stop here to continue the momentum. Almost got a steal off, off of Matt also. 31 to 15. There's a long three as the half expires, and believe it or not, that's it. That was a fast-paced first half. It first. was. It was. Well, at the halftime, it's 31 to 15. Kohler in front. When we'll return, we'll have second half action. They said a bottle was just a bottle. that no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile.
food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! And refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Home Food Safe. Sweetheart, can I give you a hand? No thanks, Dad. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules, now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Got a quarter? Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner okay. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... Kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs. Totally. Do you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. Totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child... There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Hey, you going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection.
Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise. And be the hero that I've always wanted to be. Living near the water, it's a dream come true for many, except when there's flooding or a hurricane. That's why people who live near lakes and rivers, by the ocean and bayside, are working with their local planners to make sure that protection from all sorts of natural disasters is part of the planning process. Learn more at planning.org. That's planning.org. Okay, so... What would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at grads. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. Welcome back to uh, Kohler High School where the Blue Bombers lead the Christian Eagles 31 to 15. I'm Chris Wright along with uh, Coach Jeff Wolf. Mike Martin is uh, uh, still in Arizona. Leading scores in the ball game for uh, Schweigen Christian. Uh, Matt Alsom had six, Trevor Wissey had five, Joe Lemonese had two, and Michael Modell two. For the Blue Bombers, they were led by their junior Star Carter Gebler, he has 14. Tyler Rader, eight. Three by Davis Mackey and Lucas Crawl and Colin Adams chipped in with two. What are your thoughts, uh, Coach, of the first half? I think it's probably this very quickly played first half. <laughs> plays it plays in the in the Kohler's uh, style of, of game that they want to play. Put a lot of pressure on you, full court, turn you over, get easy baskets. Uh, I think it's a you know, th this is one of the things that Sheboygan Christian has struggled with all year is, you know, their first halves have really put them in a hole. Uh, you know, it did that last night at Manitowoc uh, Lutheran where they were down 42 to 23 at half. And actually came back and, and outscored Manitowoc Lutheran 41-40 in the second half. So I think we're going to be in for an exciting second half because this is the way, you know, uh, Christian's come back on, uh, on a couple teams this year and, and closed the, the gap. At, the second half and, the, and then uh, giving teams good ball games but again with having well, the freshmen and the young players it's tough to finish when you, you know you need that you need to make those big winning plays well we mentioned it at the opening Kohler was 20 and 4 last year three times they had to play Howard's Grove the conference champs uh, they did beat them in the conference tournament and ended up being conference tournament champs uh, that's something coach you didn't uh, have when you were uh, playing 
was a conference championship where now, now they play everybody once and then they have a conference tournament that they play, which is a little bit unique and different. What do yeah, you think I, about I, that I tournament? I don't, you know, I have mixed feelings about it because you only get to play, you know, each team one time and especially when you have natu natural rivalries, uh, I always enjoyed, you know, somehow if you don't play well, if you get beat by a team the first time around, make the adjustments come back and, and, and beat them the second time. I, I, uh, it would be a hard not to be able to try to do that, but I mean, I, it's an exciting concept of having a conference tournament. Nice rebound by Connor Cassidy. You know what's unique about that tournament too is like they take like the top eight teams and they they get to play in the upper, and then the lower six, I believe it is, get to play in a different tournament. So you don't have to like it's not one versus fourteen. They kind of balance it somehow that you know the the. Uh, the lower team gets to play the lower and the upper gets to play the upper. Well, it's un unique in that you don't usually get, you know, unless you're in a, cr a Christmas tournament or something like that, to play that many games in a row for a high school team. Yeah. I don't know how that how that really affects you going into the state tournament then. I mean, right. it takes a lot of effort to, to win that kind of tournament. Well, so far we've got a basket by uh, Michael Modal, who's now cut the, the uh, deficit to 14. It's 31 to 17. Uh, Kohler in front of Sheboygan Christian. Christian looking more comfortable on the offensive end. Again, settled in. Nice block, block from behind. Tyler Rader and Joe Lemenis. And on the alternate possession, Kohler will keep the ball. Tomorrow night, we'll be back at WSCS. We're going to travel over to Sheboygan Lutheran where two of the top teams in the Big East Conference go at it. That's Sheboygan Lutheran and Howard's Grove, and there's another basket by Connor Cassidy. And next Tuesday night, we'll see these Blue Bombers over at uh, Sheboygan Lutheran, which is always a testy ball, ball game. A lot of big games early. Yep, very much so. Exciting high school basketball. People should come out and watch and support these teams. You know, you've got great crowd here tonight. Uh, it's exciting, and uh, I, I think that, you know, this is a great time of year. Yeah, I enjoy high school basketball, and it, it's kind of strange. It's the first week in December. A lot of these teams already, like we said, have the fifth game already. And conference games. You know, yeah. that's the thing that, you know, with, again, having that big uh, yeah. conference, you know, they start off with conference games. But, you know, ideally, I think you would like to have a, a couple non-conference games, get in, get, figure out who your players are, what they're doing, what their roles are. Nice finish by Eli. But that's not the case anymore because of you know, the way things are set up. Yeah, that's a very good point. Nice find. Let's see if he can finish. That time the size of Kohler inside made them kick the ball out. After the block inside, players are less likely to want to go up right away. Another three by Connor Cassidy. That's the third three for Kohler tonight. Extends the lead back to 21. Oh, and now it's raining threes. Good shot, Levi. 38 to 20. Coach Raider's not happy, he wants a timeout. It's gonna be a full timeout. With that, we're gonna take a quick break. It's 38 to 20, Blue Bombers. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfect. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Welcome back to Kohler High School, where Kohler leads Sheboygan Christian 38 to 20. Chris right along with Jeff Wolf. You would think with an 18 point lead, a coach wouldn't always want to call a timeout. But as a coach, sometimes you see your team out there doing things you don't want them to do. And instead of letting them build 
bad habits, and, and you reinforce it by taking the time out, making the adjustments, and let's see if they come out and get a good shot here. It'll be interesting for Kohler too. They've they've too not played too many of the tougher teams in the league where Christian has played some tougher. It'll be interesting. You now Kohler, like we said, goes into Lutheran right away, and then I think they play Howard's like right after that. So they're going to get their tests early too. We'll see where the conference is going to shape up in early December, but. Uh, it's probably good for uh, Kohler to maybe struggle a little bit against Silbert last night and then well, have that come back right away and play right away again tonight. You know, it depends on what kind of a team you have. If you have an experienced team, you don't mind going in and playing those tough games early, but a young team uh, like Christian facing the tough competition right away, it's a, it's a, a big challenge for them to come out and compete. Nugent on a ticky-tack foul. You know, you mentioned the uh, conference tournament and all that. One, another comment some coaches made was, you know, let's say you play an early game like uh, Kohler has to play Lutheran next week already and may, you got to play in their place. Maybe in February you'd like to have them back at your place. You have a exactly. completely different team. And Christian's going to be a different team in February as well. Exactly. That's that was one my, thing. my point before. I mean, it, it takes away that opportunity. Nice. That's the way they get the ball back after you get a foul called in. You like Good pass ahead, good finish by Leo Fink. Nice pass by Carter Gebler. Now you've mentioned Leo Fink's name a whole bunch of times tonight, Coach, but that's just his first basket, but he does so much other that's and, important. And that's the way he plays. You know, sometimes he'll give you 10, 12, and they're taking it to the basket. Does all the little things, offensive rebounds, nice, can handle the ball, do a lot of things out on the perimeter offensively. Quick hands defensively. That's what makes him the valuable part of the Bombers. You can see the intensity level after that timeout from Kohler really ratcheted up. Couple turnovers, got the opportunity. Coach, it's 13.55 in the second half. That is the Blue Bombers' first trip to the line. It's a, it's, and I don't, I don't see a lot of fouls being committed nope. out there that they're not calling. So right, uh, you know, which it, is it, good. I'm not saying, yeah, it's just yeah, it, strange. Yeah, it's just unusual, that, you know. They're letting them play. early in, in the year, the kids oh. are playing with their feet instead of trying to reach a lot and, and picking up all those fouls. Nice finish. Nice job of Trevor Fit Wissy to finish on that drive to the basket. Trevor's up to six points now. He's got to be that person that, that steps up and, and makes plays like that for his team for them in order them to be competitive. Yeah, one of the seniors on the Christian Eagles. Gebler right to the basket. Nice play, Mike Carter Gebler. You watch these coaches' son play out and you can see that they see the court sometimes differently than a lot of other players. And good job at Carter that time. Good double. Good work by Nugent, too, to fill up the lane. Trevor got there. I think that Coach Flipsy wants him to get into the paint to create something. By that time, he was a little bit off balance, couldn't stop his momentum, and ended up traveling. You want to finish. When you come into the lane with a two-foot jump stop, you want to stay square to the basket. Give yourself the triple threat position that you can pass, shoot, or, or finish. We mentioned the first half, it's shoot for a cure. Coaches versus cancer, that's why Kohler's wearing the pink socks. Earlier tonight, the Blue Bomber ladies defeated Brad Bulko's Sheboygan Christian squad. And this is the uh, second game of the doubleheader, varsity doubleheader. They're putting Joe Lamentis out on the perimeter. I think he's had some trouble with the size inside of Kohler, Here's but they're going to need him to, to start making some plays and scoring some baskets. So there was a four on one break. And finishing for two is Fink. Fink now with four points. That's a nice job isolating Modal inside against a smaller defender and he finished a nice job with the freshman. 
Yeah, and I just same thought I would just had freshman. Nice take by Gebler. Lemonese with the rebound. At this point, 20 points down, 11 and a half. You've got to. No call there. You've got to get something out almost every possession if you're a Christian. You get, you've got to get an opportunity to get a good shot. Olsen went right to the rim that time, but they said that the Kohler defender hand on top of the ball. They didn't call a jump ball. They just play on. Said, Oops, travel. Kohler, state champs, 1980, 82, 83, and 99. Now you went to state with your squad too, did you not, when you were in high school? Yep, we lost in the finals against Marathon, 1976. Marathon went on to win three state championships yeah. in a row. They had a, quite a squad. Nice reverse, oh. Miss, and again, Christian, good shot, she just can't make it. This should be Christian ball, and it is. Good hustle both ways. I recognize this official right here, Coach. He's done state tournaments. Well, it's two to one on fouls. And Ten minutes, forty-seven seconds left. But what do we have? Six in the first half. Yeah, it's, it's as cleanly played game as I've seen in a high school, especially <laughs> early in the year. Well, it's 44-24, another full time out. With that, we're going to take a quick break. In the spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Also a new gym, Coach. A lot different than when you played, and even when I coached the varsity, it's all different. Just field houses are kind of the new way to go. Yeah, it's really a nice job they did here. When they re redid the remodeling here for, for the high school and added classrooms. Nice finish. Oh. I don't think that's what Coach Flipsy wanted. He wanted to get a certain shot. Called that timeout. That was Ben Hines, senior 6-5. Bomber making that basket. Good hustle by Joel Menes. Christian trying to get something in there, but I thought Kohler's done a pretty nice job on their defense. Now it looks like they're standing in their zone, uh, Coach. You're playing the 2-3. And the three is up and missed. Good box Good out box there up by up. Ben. Yeah. Kept his body in between. Offensive rebounder. Nice job, Davis Mackey. Tell you, he always seems to find a way to get a shot open. Davis Mackey. He's a Mackey. Yeah, from. A lot of great players in that family. Good job by Christian. Rebound by Adams. And here come the Bombers. Gebler leading the break. Kick out to Mackey and it's up. Christian looks a little tired right now, Chris. Yeah, and you kind of mentioned that in the first half that that might be the case. Mackey open shot and a miss. Shots per minute, pretty good. Casey Mackey, right, when he coached when you went to state, right? Casey was on that team, correct? Yeah. Also, had Ty Mackey. Ty Mackey, yeah. I had Cody Mackey. Cody Mackey. 
I just remember the game I coached against you in your gym here, and I was ahead of you with 12 seconds or 15 seconds. You called timeout. I told our guys, whatever you do, don't let Mackey touch the ball. Mackey touched the ball, he made the basket, and we lost. <laughs> I don't care who gets it. I was smart enough because to I knew he's a winner and he's a, he wants the ball. <laughs> I told our guys, don't, whatever you do, don't. I don't care if you're in front of him, you're standing golden shirt. I think it was fist three we ran. We usually <laughs> ran to get the ball. Cody, a very good player here. Oh, yeah. Bowler back in there, 2-3 zone, hands up. Ben Hines with his second basket. 8-24 left, 50-24, to 24, and there's finally. Lemonez gets a basket. We haven't heard much of him from the scoring tonight. I guess you can credit the size I and height the si of Kohler. I think the size is really bothering him inside. And, and, and like you were saying earlier in the game, Chris, I mean, they don't lose any size when they go to the bench, which is really unusual, you know, at this level. To have that kind of size coming off the bench, too. Well, Joe had the first basket for Christian, and that was his first basket since. Plays hard, does a great job. Gets both ends of the court, but he's really got to step up and try to make some well, more plays Well, he's one post, big post player among three, three or four tall timbers that the Bombers keep wheeling in and out, and there's another Christian turnover. And it's not going to get any easier because they're playing the zone now, so they're taking advantage of that size, and not making it easy for them to score inside at all. Nice job, I trip. Wissy with the steal. Bowler really knows where he is at all point. Points at, on the defensive end. They're shading him there, Davis Mackey right there. Good back, box out by Adams to allow Gebler to get that rebound. Hendricks had a good look, you know. It, you got to make the most of those opportunities. There's a kick out to Adams, drives short, but he's fouled. Good take. Yep, and Colin Adams will go to the free throw line, shooting two. And again, for Kohler, most, you know, Coach Rader was talking about his team being young because they're all juniors, but you can see that especially those players that had experience on the varsity last year for Kohler, really have made a big, big, big stride as far as improving coming into this year. Colin is the goalkeeper here for a state-ranked, powerful soccer team coach. Takes a lot of pride in his work as a keeper. I guess you would call it, I'm not a, Soccer I'm, person. I'm not so. a soccer person either. So, so I'm just calling I know they're keeper. very successful here. Rod Hogan, the coach, yep. did a great job. He's you the know. goal guy. He's they they were ranked uh, number one in state, I think, this year. Uh, unfortunately, lost in the sectionals, I believe it was sectional finals to Sturgeon Bay. Kohler's giving some Mackey up. Reserve some time here to play. They're gonna get Adams over the back. I know Colin Adams' brother, Caleb, is a huge, huge Bucks fan. Huge Bucks fan. Well, the, he's got good taste then. Yeah, he, uh, he was excited about the trade, and then I think like everybody else with, with Sam Decker today, getting traded to Washington. Well, Sam had a few moments at a, as a Buck, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Too bad, I think he would have done a great job here. You know, got a great following here in the state. Had a, had a great career at Wisconsin. And yeah. I would have liked to have seen him have the opportunity to play in Milwaukee, but a lot of times it's all about salary cap room and making room for players, you know, maybe not this year, but next year when the Bucks need to re-sign some of those guys. Yeah. But they have to win this year, too. You know, they've, yeah. they got the opportunity to be one of the top teams in, in the East. And they got a tough tough road tonight against the Warriors. We'll be on probably, we can see the second well, half. Well, didn't they get them here last year though? Didn't they beat them? They no. beat them this year in Golden State, so. But they beat them here last year too, I yeah, think. Yeah, that'd be a, whoops. Mackey gets blocked. 
by Hendricks there. Nice of the Warriors to go to Kevin Looney's high school. Yeah, I saw that. Jersey retirement at Hamilton High School. Yeah. A pretty classy move by the entire organization. You can get that, as most of you basketball people know, that's not over the back. Adam thought movement. about a three. Hines. You know, the second unit for Kohler has really shown good discipline. Nice job by Colin. Finishing. He really moved the ball really well there. Colin now with four points as well. Kohler knows where Trevor Wussi is at all times. You know, he's a big three point threat from out there against his zone. Gets it inside against Olsen. Kicked it out. Nothing for Hendricks. Hendricks with another good look. Yeah, just a, he too, just a sophomore, Jeff. There's ben Hines. 21 is Crawl. Adams with the miss. Put back in a miss, I think, by Crawl. Hustling on the floor. Good hustle. And Christian's out with it, and here they come. See if they can get a good shot on this trip. Kohler's being very active, hands up high in the defense. Nice shot. They're going to give him three. Matt also, there's another guy who's been kind of quiet. Scored a bunch of early points and haven't heard anything from him. And people might, might ask, well, we did, they just made one basket. Why did the coach call a timeout? Well, as a coach, you want to build on something positive. So you're in the middle of a second half, but things haven't gone as well as they have for you in your prior games. Something, you just knocked in a shot. Now, as a coach, you want to reinforce that positivity and come out and maybe get a steal defensively, get another basket, try to get some momentum. You know, the basketball is such a game of runs that if you can get yourself one or two baskets in a row, get your team on a different track than, they're, than they have been for most of this half of being hesitant and unable to finish. Now you like, we mentioned in the opening, you coached against Coach Flipsy uh, here at Christian. He's had some wonderful teams, some conference championship teams. and uh, Always. He's the old war horse in the league, him and Coach Bruning at Hoosburg. He, I know, was at Howard's before that. Both of them done, both those guys have done outstanding jobs built, running their programs for so many years. You know, players' sacrifices, coaches' sacrifices, and the families of players and coaches make sacrifices. So both those gentlemen have done an outstanding job and produced a lot of fine players and a, a lot of fine young men. Well, what's interesting, too, is it's a uh, miss there and a... Uh, Rebound there by Ben Himes. You know, Coach Brunick followed Coach Moriarty, who was kind of, you know, a, a legend kind of coach. You had a state championship. Coach Rader gets to follow that. Now he's had some success here. You know, kind of interesting how some of the coaches have kind of followed in the paths of previous successful coaches and, you know, just carried the torch, I guess you could say. Here's Coach Flipsy taking. We'll see out of the game, he gave it his all. Kohler made it very difficult, you know. They, they, part of their scouting report was probably know where he is at all times. Don't let him get started. They didn't let him do that tonight. But he's a fine player. I'm sure he'll bounce back and, and do great things for the rest of the year. And we'll see Christian play uh, Lutheran. I believe that's in, in the end of January, the 25th, I believe that is. It'll be at Christian. Lutheran again this year. I'm not, I don't remember where it's at, but that'll be the next time we see the Eagles. What I'm impressed with this group that's out on the floor for Kohler right now on the offensive end, even though they're playing defense, Chris, is that nobody's hunting their shots. You know, so a lot of times you make substitution, guys don't get a lot of time, you know, and the people try to hunt their shots and get their stats. This team is really playing good team basketball. They're getting good shots because of it, but you don't always see that when you make this this many substitutions. I think Davis Mackey got a bloody nose on that play. Into the game comes Connor Cassidy back in.
another solid, hard fought, quickly paced and played half. Chris. Yeah, it really is. Nice motion. Good dribble drive. That's Justin Check, number 14. First time we've seen him tonight for Kohler, 6'1 junior. Justin's one of those kids that really worked hard. Didn't always play basketball when he was younger. Came out for the team in middle school. Really worked himself into becoming a, a, a varsity basketball player. Everybody has different abilities and you know some people have real high abilities. Justin has really worked hard and made himself you know a, a nice varsity player out here. Good to see people like that have the opportunity to get playing time. And a foul there on Lucas Crawl. It's 53 to 29. We're at the 2-12 mark. Uh, stick around after the game. Coach Wolf is going to have to go grab Coach Raider right away and get a couple players, and we'll have some interviews. We mentioned uh, Tuesday night, where we'll see these Blue Bombers uh, over at Lutheran. Tomorrow night, we'll be at Lutheran watching Howard's Grove and Lutheran. And then next Friday, I think we are at Sheboygan North, where they take on the ships of Manitowoc. Sheboygan North off to a one and one start, which is really strange. Like I said, they're one and one, but you know these teams already are in their fifth game already. It, it's crazy. You, you look at all the different uh, levels of basketball that go on in, in high school these days, and because of the, the league setups, everything's a little bit different. And this is, you know, because of the, you know the bigger league, they're playing early conference games. There's a shot there by Crawl. And playing back to back from last night to yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah. You only get that in tournaments, and then, then you get it in the you know tournaments again in the state tournament, which I, that's another thing I never liked is when uh, basically you play Christmas tournaments, you play back to back, and most of the time during the year you play a Tuesday, Friday, or a Tuesday, Thursday, and then all of a sudden you get to sectionals, you got to play back to back nights. That just didn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But, but not all of them. Some had Thursday, Saturday, so they yeah, all yeah. weren't. Always the same. Yep. I just, uh, I just never understood playing back-to-back -back games and but in sectional, the sectional But in the final. old days, in the conference, you know, in the Fox Valley, then it, it, it was back-to-back. -back yeah, games. that's true. Yep. Now, too, coach, you have three officials, so it's more difficult to get officials because, you know, every varsity game has to have three, so that's why you got teams playing on Thursday nights, Friday nights. You know, half the league tonight's playing for the Big East, but, you know, Lutheran's sitting off tonight. Well, it used to be, you know, you had certain nights which you, were, you would see that, you know, this is for high school basketball or college right. basketball. Right. Now, because of so many different factors, you got people playing in all different, right. you know, college games are on Friday nights where it used to be considered the high school night. Uh, you, you know, on Saturdays, uh, they're all over the place. I think a lot of that has to do on the college level because of TV. But but uh, you, you know there's a lot of factors going on where teams are playing different, all different kinds of nights. And it, 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 we pointed out earlier in tonight because in high school. That, uh, but you just go out and you play as hard as you can. You, that's the thing you can control. As a coach and as, as a player, you go out and do the best you can with the opponent that, that you face each night and that's, that's what you can control. 53-29, we're under 30 seconds. Blue Bombers are going to win this and stay undefeated at 5-0 and in oh, first place in the league. Their next test is at Lutheran. Almost, almost. Justin Check with a basket there. You can just tell how the student section wants him to have the ability <laughs> to score because, you know, players, like I said, players like that des deserve the opportunity to play, and it's great that he's getting that opportunity, and they'd love to see him score. And with 14 seconds left tonight, you know what we're not going to say? Bonus free throws tonight. <laughs> Here's a layup. Nice job by Collins. Adams scores again. He's got finishes tonight with six. Leading score for Kohler tonight will be Carter Gebler with 16, but that's it. 
Final score tonight is 53 to 29. Uh, Coach Wolf is gonna go and grab a couple blue bombers. And when we return, we'll have two kids from Kohler talking with Coach Wolf. Right now, we're gonna take a break. 55-29 victory for the Kohler Blue Bombers. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. Food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! And refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Home Food Safety. Said, I got it. Okay. I'm gonna go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take each other. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Welcome back to Kohler High School, where the Kohler Blue Bombers have pulled out a big victory over the <laughs> Christian High School. Jeff Wolf here with Tyler Rader and Carter Gebler, two of the stars of tonight's game. Carter, tonight you had another fine game. You're really looking good earlier in this season. How do you feel out there on the court? Um, I feel really good. Our team is, we've been playing together since we were in first grade, and we feel great together. We're doing really well. Tyler, you really, as a big person, and I can relate to this, you've really improved physically throughout the last couple of years, especially from last year to this year. Well, uh, how, how do you feel out there out on the court? It's a lot. Lifted weights and stuff, it's a lot easier, I can tell. Um, just boxing out and everything, it's just coming more naturally, it's more natural. Both of you two are sons of coaches, and sometimes that's not always easy to be, you know, to have your, your father coaching you. What's the best part of being uh, the coach's son? Um, he has the keys to the gym, so he always lets us in all the time, so we don't need to ask any people from the school, they just let us in all the time. Okay, and I'll give you the tough one. What's the tough part of being a coach's son? Expectations. Got to feel and like, got to live up to their expectations. And really, anything you do is good enough. Now, both of you come from basketball families. You're from around here. Your, your family's from up north, but all great basketball uh, families. Do you guys feel any pressure now being the next generation? Okay, Coach Camden, a long time. 
coach here, you know, did a great job here for many years. Your dad was a great player. How do you handle that kind of pressure? Um, I just keep working. My dad just keeps pushing me. He wants me to live up to his expectations, beat him. Everyone always tells me how good a player he was, but I try to beat him. That's my. That's what you got to do. You got to take over that mantle. Tyler, now you've got a big uncle. I know your uncle Greg. How do you fare against them these days? Still beats me. <laughs> Still pretty big. <laughs> Not much I can do against him yet, We're but doing better. yet. <laughs> That's the thing. You got to keep improving. Well, this was a great job by the Kohler Bombers. Looking forward to seeing them for a lot more success for the rest of the season. This is Jeff Wolf throwing it back to Chris. Week we'll uh, see those Blue Bombers next Tuesday night. Good job, guys. Lutheran and. Uh, just wrap up the final score tonight. It was 55 to 29. Uh, Kohler was led by Carter Gebler, who had 16 points. Tyler Rader, eight. Colin Adams chipped in with six off the bench. For Christian, it was Matt Elscombe with eight. Uh, for the crew tonight, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out on our first night. I know it's, uh, it was a cold night tonight, but I would especially like to thank Coach Wolf for stepping in for Marty. I always appreciate when uh, Jeff is here and he, he really adds to things. And, We've been longtime friends, so thanks so much for stepping in, Jeff. Well, I really, really appreciate the opportunity, Chris. It, it, you know, it, it's great to get back here to the Kohler and see a, a, a hard-fought basketball game, and you know that Christian's going to have a hard time, you know, of playing against this competition early. But I'm sure it'll be fine after Coach Flips working with Coach Flipsy and Coach Rader's got a good-looking team right now. Yes. So with that, we'll sign off. And like a, a reminder, uh, Kohler with the win tonight. Tomorrow night, we'll be over at Sheboygan Luther for Howard's Grove and Luther. So we'll say so long. And as Marty says, we'll see you down the road. Thank you.